Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my live stream. Oh boy. So, for the month of June 2017, I have been requested by my Patreon to stream the game Paka Plus. Paka Plus. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna say Paka Plus. Uh, it is a dating sim that I got on Steam. As you can see, this lovely, lovely grill. Look at her. She looks beautiful. It's Paka Plus. This cute alpaca on the cover. It's good. What could go wrong? It looks so nice. Tony, why won't you let me watch Naruto? Because I got a stream for eight hours. It never ends. I'll pay you not to play this. Too bad. We already started. Save, load, skip, config. All right. A violin medley can be heard in the distance. It's a pleasing sound. Please let me know if the audio is uh, is too low or too high. I can adjust it accordingly. It's probably a bit too low. I don't know. I'll turn it up a smidge. Please let me know if, it, if it's good. So here we go. The summer in the highlands is calm and clear with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with morning dew, I quietly close my eyes and lend my ear to that refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay there. Stay here like this forever. Kazuma. Hmm. Isn't it still summer vacation? Why is my alarm going off? I'm going back to sleep. Wow, the, the text is kind of difficult to read, admittedly. It's kind of unpleasant to my eyes. Is this the Pac-Man dating sim? Is there a Pac-Man dating sim? I really hope so. It is nearly halfway through summer vacation. I, Kazuma Sakai, cling greedily to my pillow and dreams, determined to sleep in. The abrupt- <laughs> The fuck is this cell phone ring, my guy? Ooh! <laughs> you hear those tunes? Ooh. <laughs> the abrupt ringing of my cell phone tears me away from the thoughts of laziness. Hmm. Mochi Mochi! Star Platinum Desu! Hello, Kazuma. Hello? Oh, Yukari, it's you. Are you up and out of bed? Yeah, I'm up. I mean, I just woke up. What's going on? Why are you calling so early? You know we have to be at school today to prepare for the school f festival, right? Make sure you show up. Oh, really? Oh, right. Gotcha. For God's sakes, if there isn't a sexy grape soda man in this game, I'm out. Man, when's the when's the, the Pepsi Man dating sim coming out? Honestly, I want to make Pepsi Man date 7-Up Man. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, jeez. Everything... <laughs> oh, it's got like a little line, so it's... Oh, jeez! You gotta, you know, you gotta do it like weird. Everything's going to turn out fine, right? Yeah, it will. I'll get ready right away. It seems that preparations for the school festival are starting today, even though we're in the middle of summer vacation. A single, you should do it too, Kazuma... You should do it too, Kazuma! from my girlfriend, Yukari, was all it took to make me a committee member. Oh, how is this a dating sim? Is this just a visual novel? Did I misread this? Is this not a dating sim? This must be just a visual novel. Okay. Alright, I get it now. So I'm dating Yukari. She better be hot, though. Or, that's what I remember, at least. Moshi Moshi! Okay, well. Well, I'll be here. I'll be waiting at the usual bus stop, okay? Make sure to eat breakfast. Yeah, yeah, you know you sound like my mom. Jeez, if you have the time to joke around, then hurry up and get ready. Got it. So I'll see you at the usual spot at the usual time. After Yukari's wake-up call, I quickly get ready and jump into, or rather, onto my sweet ride. <laughs> yeah, since it's just a bicycle, and rush out of my house. Sweet ride. When do we see Jesus and Buddha from Saints Onisan? Saint Onisan, oh my god. I ride off to school, pedaling as hard as I can. Yukari should have gotten on the bus at the usual time, so if I don't hurry, I'm gonna be late. <sighs> Whew. Out of breath, and with sweat running down my brow, I make my way to the bus stop near the school. I wait for the bus Yukari should be on as I catch my breath. A few minutes later, the bus comes right on schedule, and a long-haired girl steps off the bus alone. Damn. What do you guys think of my girlfriend? Is she hot enough? I don't know if she's hot enough, but she's I, I guess. Her eyes are a little weird, but yeah, this is good enough. Good morning, Kazuma. 
She gives me a familiar bright smile with a familiar greeting. Her name is Yukari U Uz Iz Izumi. Okay, Yukari Izumi. Got it. Oh, Dios mios. She's average. Damn. That's a little savage, not gonna lie. We're both freshmen in class 1A. What, really? Of S mm, Psychoe Private High School. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is your girlfriend a JoJo reference? I hope so. Is her- are her boobs gonna make me magnetic if I touch them? If I touch her box, will I become a magnet? I hope so. She's also my girlfriend. Yeah, I, I, I guess as much. She has long, shimmering hair, doe eyes, and a delicate build that makes you worry you'd snap her in half if you hugged her too tightly. There's a sexual joke in there somewhere. Basically, she's a girl so cute it feels like a waste on me. That's Yukari Izumi. Good morning! Eh? Looks like you're still sleepy. I am indeed <laughs> I want a screenshot of that. That's my life. That is my life in a sentence. I am indeed sleepy. She's a 6.5. That's, you know, that's somewhere between slightly above average and great. Oh, she did a blush, I guess. I thought about going back to bed, but I couldn't keep Yukari waiting here by herself. That's why I got here in such a rush, but there's no need to make anything of it. I changed the subject. By the way, Yukari, what was our class doing for the festival again? Oh, jeez! You don't remember at all? A maid cat! A maid cafe. Alright. Oh, I see. That's right. That was it. That face says you don't remember at all. Yeah? No, that's not true. I honestly have no such memory. That's also me. Is this character just me? I don't have very good memory. I really don't. We were both there when we decided on what to do, too. Yukari stares at me with an expression that hinges on astonishment, but she nevertheless patiently describes the maid cafe that our class will be hosting. Things started... To with something in our class reminiscent of visiting a successful Akihabara bar, maid cafe, on his Tokyo... Just, oh god, I can't talk. Tokyo vacation. All the guys threw up their hands in support and applauded the speaker, but they still had to get the girls on board. Surprisingly, the proposal was approved quickly. The vast majority of the girls agreed, with comments such as, I've always wanted to wear a maid outfit, and actually, I do have something like that. That's my girl voice. Why is Tony being a goof and streaming this late, fam? Nah, dude, streaming late's the way to go. Then our committee leader, Ayaka Shinozawa, Shinozawa, sealed the deal by saying, I'll make sure to prepare suitable maid uniforms for all the girls in class. Yeah, that's my intense class president voice. Nobody was left to object, and our class merrily decided on doing a refreshment booth with a maid cafe theme. Or, so the story goes, I feel like a fool, I feel like a food stand, I thought that was weird. Okay, I feel like a food stand is an option that involves lots of work for little gain, profit-wise, but I'll be happy if I get to see Yukari in maid clothes. This guy knows what's up. As we talk about it, the school we attend comes into view. Looking up into the sky, the sunshine is getting stronger. The glaringly hot summer sun is merciless. Seems like today is going to be another hot one. Bring out a cold one. With the boys in a hot one. Oh man. Janie Rod, your profile picture is SpongeBob doing the shape of a U from the fun song. You've got good taste in profile pictures. Good shit. Committee leader Shinazawa is waiting in the classroom by herself when we arrive. Dude, she's hotter than my girlfriend. Can I date her instead? Like, she's got that short hair glasses look, and I'm. Mm, good shit. Tony, I love your channel, and thank you so much for convincing me to finally watch Let's Read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I hope all is well, and keep up the good work. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy my content, and I'm hoping that you're loving JoJo as much as I do. Oh, no, that's mine. I was about to pull out my intense voice. Morning, Shinozawa. You're early as usual. Good morning, Psyche. Yukari. Good morning, Aya. Aya Ayaka. As always, you two seem to be getting along pretty well. We're dating, so that would make sense. This resourceful committee leader, who easily realized the boy's collective desire for a maid cafe, is considered by most of the class to be level-headed and earnest. However, I also know that she's a hardcore uniform- Uniform maniac. Maniac. Fuck, I can't talk. Oh god. Ikari told me that Shinozawa can't resist cute outfits. Hmm. This is good. It's just the space- of her eyes scared me, which makes me think they may have a tumor. Yeah, there's a lot of space going on here, and that's sort of offset by the glasses over here. It makes it look like this is more normal. I'm really feeling the class president right now, you know? I'm liking it. 
Also, her nose is way too fucking small, dude. It's not big enough. I don't like it. You can already tell me? Yeah, okay. Her collection doesn't just include the uniforms of nearby high schools, restaurants, and... Her collection doesn't just... Okay, cool. And maid cafes. It even goes as far as having the real ones, actual housekeepers of English nobility war. Oh, jeez. I've heard rumors of a special costume room that she has at home, but the truth of that claim is beyond even Yukari's understanding. You're getting along so well, I feel like the classroom's temperature is rising. Th th thank you? What, what, could, what could we do about that, Kazuma? Yukari looks to me for help, but, Yukari, you're very mistaken if you think that you can always get help from me. Yeah? Hey now, hey now, if you don't cut it out, Yukari, Yukari will embarrass, get embarrassed and heat this room up even more. No, not you too! <coughs> One more committee member arrives late. Oh, whoops. We've got more important things to do. We can p pick on Yukari more later. True. Let's call a temporary ceasefire for now and pick up again after the meeting. What? More later? You don't need to, Adichan! <laughs> Alright. Well, let's start the first meeting. Yes, as a member of the organizing committee, I'm getting fired up. Hey! Listen to me, Jotaro uh, the, the meeting starts amidst Yukari's adorable protests. The meeting's. No, oh, it just does it again. Tony, you should dub some anime. You're amazing at it. Oh, thank you. I'm trying my best to uh, really pull out that mm, cute girl, you know? Like, I want this to be the voice you think of when someone says cute anime girl. I want you to think of that. Well, that should do for today. This is only our first meeting, but Shinozawa had already detailed things so minutely that it ends quickly. You really command things like a military strategist. Maybe I should start calling you Kong Ming. Ha! I don't know enough about... Japanese strategists to really get that. <laughs> Let me handle rallying the people. Sail should just it should be just fine as well. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Thank you. Flattery won't get you anywhere, you know. I didn't mean to flatter her, but she seems in high spirits after seeing everything go as planned. Alright. Alright. Tony should start dubbing hentais. Dude, I'd love to do dubbing for hentais. I'm not even kidding. If someone approached me and ask me to do any sort of voice acting ever, I'd totally do it. I'd love to do voice acting. I know I don't have the voice for it, but why, why the fuck not? You know, it'd be fun. After that quick meeting, we leave Shinozawa and go out for a stroll through the town. At the shopping center in front of the station, we try to hide from the hot rays of the sun as we go from the record, record, yeah, record store to the bookshop. Okay. Uh, Tony, thanks for streaming now, because it means I can actually watch it. It's morning here. Anyways, keep up the good work and nice taste in anime. Man, this is always the fun part of me streaming at weird, like, late times, is that I get to stream live for people who generally can't watch my content because of different different time zones. So, how many schmeckles do I have to pay t to pay you to do a voiceover, Tony? Oh, like, legitimately? I mean, I don't think you'd have to pay me any money to do a voiceover. I'd probably do it for free, like, if you wanted me to do something for a, a YouTube video, I mean, why not? I'd do it for funsies. I mean, money's nice, though. We go through the arcade and into a fast food place. I drink a cold one with the boys! Uh, cold soda in the well air-conditioned room. By the way, what the fuck even is up with this new- it's not new, I mean, it's old now. The fucking cold one with the boys meme? I don't even know where the fuck that came from. It just showed up on my Facebook because my Facebook is full of weird people. I don't get it. But it's fun to say because it's so dumb. Yukari doesn't like soda, so she's sipping an iced tea daintily through a straw. A fleeting moment in the evening of a hot summer. I'm looking forward to the school festival! Yeah, I can't wait to see you in a maid outfit. Wink. Jeez! I'll give Tony a dollar if he dubbed my hentai. Make a hentai and I'll dub it, why not? Go for it. Go for it right now. I dare you. But I'm surprised you accepted wearing maid clothes. No qualms about it? Girls all wish they could transform. What the fuck does that mean? Is that how it goes? So even you want to try being someone else, Yukari? <laughs> well, I wonder. I don't really understand girls' difficult feelings. But if she says so, then it's probably right. Oops! It's already this late! I need to get home! Yukari looks at her watch. Bitch ain't wearing a watch. This... This piece of shit ain't wearing a watch. I can see both her motherfucking wrists. She ain't wearing a fucking watch. 
She ain't wearing a fucking watch right now. Bullshit. Oh, you're right. As we trade silly jokes, time passes us by. It's not that we're doing anything or going anywhere in particular, but just being together makes it a wonderful time. Such times are small and simple, but unique to the lives of wholesome students. And just being able to experience them is enough for me. It's good. It's good. Some kawaii schoolgirl ASMR. Well then, be careful getting home. Yeah, you too, Kazuma. Watch out for the cars! Excuse me? Do people often get run over in my neighborhood? Yeah, I know. Well then, see you tomorrow! See you then. After seeing Yukari off the bus stop, I pedal my way home. Looking up into the red-tinted sky while pedaling, I see a single white cloud floating not that far off the ground. It looks to me like a sheep or a camel for some reason or another. Yeah? Oh, shit. Okay, so it's August 17th now. Oh, shit, is that my dad? Is that my dad right now? This guy looks lit. Oh, shit, we got a cat, too? All right. All right. Kazuma, get the bill for table three, please. Roger. Es es excuse me. Oui, oui. Mm, baguette. You can take a break once you're done. There's a little coffee shop hidden next to the residential area, not far from the station. Black Cat Cafe. Get it? I've been helping out at this shop for longer than I've attended this school. It wasn't really a part-time job. Rather, my family's been on good terms with the people there since I was little, so they're nice to me as well. And when I saw how busy the owner was, I just started helping out here and there. During my childhood years, I ended up coming to the Black Cat instead of the park whenever I couldn't find a place to play. So now I'm closer to the owner than even my own father, who never really played with me much. Okay, I mean, he's, he's basically my dad. Dad looks fresh as fuck. He's pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. My dad's hotter than my girlfriend, which is a little awkward. The owner, Akio Mataka, runs the shop with his two daughters. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Alright. What What is this game? I need to know for a friend. This is Pack a Plus. All one word. You can find it on Steam. Came out pretty recently. Two daughters. I know how this is going. I know what's going on. But there are times when he'll take any help he can get. Thank you very much. Now then. I've just seen off the- oh, that was mine, I did the wrong voice. See off the last customer, and now it's just me and the owner inside the shop. It's strange how large the inside of the shop feels when it's only the two of us in here, since it's a rather small cafe. Yeah, this guy's hot as fuck though, look at him. Oh, so you're having a maid cafe at your school. I'm just chatting with the owner since there isn't much else to do. Yeah, it just suddenly happened, so I've been bogged down with preparing for the festival. Students are the main event at school festivals after all, make sure to do it properly! Please don't add on more pressure. Hey now, you can't go half-heartedly into this. If you have any concerns, I'll gladly listen. After all, I know a thing or two about cafes. <laughs> really, I can think of a certain someone that would love hearing that, actually. As I say that, I imagine a grinning Shinozawa saying, I'll take you up on that. So, like, the cakes for the maid cafe. How much time is needed to make them, and how much should we spend on ingredients? Well, so then, ah, so no bacana. I'm here to tell you. Your next line is, well, it's not so much the time as the equipment. Will you be able to make their kitchen? Will you be able to use their kitchen? To you. All right. No, the cooking club has reserved the kitchen. We have to prepare everything in our classroom. So getting ovens will be difficult. Well, we'll need to buy one from somewhere. If so, then our experiences, our expenses will be pretty high. The owner folds his arms and goes, Hmm. This is just a suggestion, but what if Black Cat was to supply the cakes for your festival? What? Are you sure? His sudden suggestion surprises me. In fact, the Black Cat Cafe sets are known to be delicious, even around the neighborhood. Cake sets. So much so that they've been featured in magazines before. Customers would definitely love having those cakes in the Maid Cafe. Yeah! If you could leave black if you could leave black cat business cards near the register in return, that'd be great. That won't be a problem at all. I think we'll need quite a lot though. Will that be fine? This is for you, Kazuma. I'll work it out. Thanks. Can we go over the details next time? Sure thing. Damn. This guy's hot and generous. Literally the perfect dad. I'd give i give him a smooch. He's smoochable. That haircut's fresh as fuck. I'll tell Shinozawa about this later. I don't want to give the owner too much trouble, but well, this is Shinozawa we're talking about, so it should be fine. And there's one more thing I want to check on with the owner. Boss, can I have time off at the end of the month? 
My shift is Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but it could be changing freely depending on my and the owner's situation. The end of the month, August 31st, is actually Yukari's birthday. Since it's her birthday, I'd rather be by her side than working. Of course it's fine. Is there something you're doing? It's Yukari's birthday, so I was thinking of taking her somewhere nice. I see, have fun! Thank you very much. Actually, there's something related to that I wanted to ask you about. What would that be? I was thinking about getting her some type of present. Okay. What do girls like getting? If somebody says dick in my chat right now, I swear to god. Ah, well, conversely, what gift from Yukari would make you happy, Kazuma? Even though I'm asking him, I get a question in response. Never answer a question with a question. That's a pro tip. That is a pro tip from Ka Ka from goddamn Kira. That is a pro tip. Don't answer a question with a question. Ever. Or you die. It's my new, my new love. It's my true love. It's pure art. This game is actually pretty enjoyable so far. Even though I'm asking him, I got a question. You know, I'm, gonna take a bro I'm gonna take a screenshot of this handsome guy. Why not? Uh, me? Uh, I don't really have anything I particularly want. I think I'd like anything Yukari picks for, for me. Right! There's your answer. So you're saying it really is the thought that counts? That's what I believe. She likes music, so maybe I'll find her some violin-related accessories. The owner smiles and disappears behind the counter. Probably going to check on the coffee beans. Oh shit. Probably... There we go. Welcome! Oh, Yukari, it's you! It's you. Is that any way to treat a customer? Understood, madam. Would this be seat be equate? Yeah. Would the seat be adequate? I lead her to a seat near the window as I say that. Yes. Thank you. May I pl please take your order? Well, it's a little late, but I believe I shall have my lunch. Fetch me today's lunch menu. Take <laughs> the A combo comes with carbonara, whereas the B combo has a rice omelet. Both come with complimentary salad and drink. So, then I'll take the rice omelet B set. I knew you'd go for that. You really like your rice omelet. You know, because this shop's fluffy, melty rice omelet is so good. Mm. Oh man, Tony, have you played Hitalful Boyfriend? Oh yeah. I remember playing Hitalful Boyfriend on Christmas morning with my cousin. That was a wacky time. She better be paying a good tip. She better be tipping me fucking tons of money right now. I... I am waiting. As to be expected from a regular, quite the discerning eye. I'll be here... I'll be... It, uh, it'll be here shortly. Boss. B combo, order up. Kazuma Goon! Mmm! Sorry, have my hands full right now. Can you make it, Kazuma? Roger. As you heard... So you're making it for me today? <laughs> oh wait, she sung that. So you're making it for me today. Mm. That's my that's my anime cute girl voice. I'm really working on it, guys. I swear to God. <clears throat> I shall not disappoint, madame. Okay. I put on my apron as I head to the kitchen. Sometimes I have to wield the frying pan instead of the owner. Instead, when the owner is busy roasting the beans. There's, there's like a lot of like jokes I could be making, but I just can't think of them. I practice cooking fluffy, melty rice omelets so often that it's now my forte. Fluffy omelets. Alright, that should be good. I place the omelet over the chicken and rice, cut it down its center to open up a gap, and finish it up by topping everything with sauce. Sounds delicious. But I feel a little mischievous today. Is he gonna- am I gonna come in the- am I gonna come in the omelet right now? I think I'm about to come in that omelet right now. I add a little something to the salad too. Am I about to come in this? Did I come in that salad too? I'm pretty... I'm pretty convinced I'm about to come in this food. Just a bit of mischief. Oh, fuck! It just a bit of, He said it twice! He came in that twice, dude! This game's getting dark already. I don't know if I want to go deeper. Alright. Sorry to keep you waiting. One deluxe... Deluxe fluffy melty rice omelet. Wow, it looks great! Yukari quickly brings a spoonful of delicious rice omelet to her mouth. Mm. Yummy. Why do girls always look this happy when they eat something delicious? Her happiness is contagious. 
But just as she bites into the salad, her eyes go wide and she freezes up. Oh, fuck. She knows. It's too salty. Oh, so it really is something you notice right away. I'm pretty sure I just made her come from her taking a bite full of my salad cummies right now. I straight up just fed her salad cummies and she just came in the middle of the store. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. He would be proud of this meal right now. Alright, I gotta do my uh, anime girl voice coming. Alright, hold on. <clears throat> Alright. She furiously washes the salad down with water and looks at me in protest, tears in her eyes. Jeez, you put okra in my salad on purpose knowing I don't like it, didn't you? Yup, I did. Usually there's no okra, okra in the salad, but it's on the house. Do you know it's good for your complexion? Damn, that's rude. I'm pretty sure that I just insulted her. I'm like, wow, your complexion sucks. Eat this okra. Jesus, fuck. I'm always happy when I eat food, though. Eating food's a good time. <clears throat> Kazuma, you jerk! Son of bucket up! Uh, that's impossible. Don't be mad, you'll ruin that pretty face! <laughs> whatever! Yukari puffs out her cheeks, but keeps eating her rice omelet. You say whatever, but you're still eating the rice omelet. Because it's just so good! It's fine, it's not like it's in the rice- It's not like it's the rice omelet's fault. With warm feelings filling my heart, I look at Yukari and wonder what to get her for her birthday. I know it's the thought that counts, but I want her to be happy getting it. I'll try taking note of what grabs her attention next time. Not okra! Masaka! No one <laughs> deflects the omelette splash! It's 7.40. Yukari steps off the bus, right on schedule. Good! You didn't sleep in today! What do you mean, today? It's not like I slept in last time. Oh! If I hadn't called you then, you would definitely would have slept in. Dude, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I, my character's being a huge dick right now. I, I haven't even made a decision. I literally have not clicked one thing, like, to do a decision yet. We're just reading. Fine, I'll admit you were a big help that time. As long as you understand. Well, let's get going. Alright, let's go to school. Let's do it. We're meeting up for the school festival again. Shinozawa, who is handling the costumes, has organized a platoon of seamstresses, eh, seamstresses from the Handicrafts Club. Other team members are busy working on the greeting manual, putting the menu together. What Yukari and I are doing is making the list of what needs to be purchased. Hmm, white tablecloths would be nice. Wouldn't pink be better if it's a maid cafe? I think that would be cute too, but since the outfits are pink, I think it would be better if they weren't the same. I see, so the maid outfits are pink. Hmm. Hey! You imagined something weird just now, didn't you? Don't worry about it, you're cute no matter what you wear. Man. He was kind of a dick. That's not what I mean! Jeez, come on! You need to help me think up stuff! Sorry, sorry. Also, we need plates and cups and... Need a sign as well. Oh, that's right! Be gone, thought! Man, something wacky is gonna happen. I'm waiting for the wackiness to happen. You know, like, I want something weird to happen. So I guess that's about it! We check over the list we've made. According to the schedule, we'll be skipping the next meeting to go to shopping. We really need to put some so th ah, thought into this since I want to buy everything in one go. Yeah, this should be alright, right? I think so. If you remember anything else, we can just add it, then. What's after this? Since everyone's working on their own task, it looks like we can go if we're finished with our part. Then how about we go do our homework together in the library? Aw, I'm happy you asked me, but I have practice after this. Orchestra club, was it? Yeah. Can't miss that now. Go do your best. Sorry about that. It's fine, it's fine. Yukari apologizes again and leaves the classroom. I thought about joining a club at the start of the school, uh, but working at Mr. Mitaka's shop was both enjoyable and fulfilling, so I decided against it. After Yukari leaves for a club, I jump into the conversations of classmates who are helping with preparations. It's nice that they've shown up, but unfortunately it's too early to start doing any actual work, so they're just waiting around. Boy Student A. Hey Sakai, you finished the DLC mission put out this week and I get that DLC mission bonus? Let's do it. 
Sandy Plain Square Pecker, the mobs it summons are max size too. Oh, that's already out? Seriously, you didn't beat that shit yet? Bitch. My bad, I've been busy lately. Busy? <laughs> busy, meaning with Izumi, must be nice having a real girlfriend. Man, this this kid straight up has a body pillow, doesn't he? Not what I mean. We're hitting the hunting grounds, lady. You're coming whether you like it or not. Bitch. Man, are they talking about Monster Hunter right now? I'm pretty sure they're talking about Monster Hunter right now. It sounds like it, you know? I got it, I got it. About to go play some Monster Hunter. This is, this is like... Weird. This game is weird, you know? School bell rings while we're talking about all that dumb stuff, so we leave as well. I think about heading back, but thoughts of Yukari resurface. Come to think of it, I've never actually seen Yukari up close while she's playing the violin. I've cheered her on during competitions and tournaments, but she doesn't want to be watched when she's practicing because it's embarrassing for her. It feels like she practices every day. Performing with an instrument must really be that hard. It piqued my interest, so I decided to go peek in the music room. The music room is soundproofed. But just the slightest hint of the violin melody can be heard in the hallway. Man, wouldn't it suck if your name was Boy Student A? I think having Boy Student A is worse than Boy Student B. Because at least Boy Student B, like, your name begins with a B and then ends with a B. And that's pretty cool. You know? Like, that's a pretty cool, cool thing. But, like, Boy Student A just makes you sound like an asshole. You know? It's like XXX. 69er XXX, you know, like, it's just a lame screen name, but, you know, whatever. As a lady, I can confirm, sneezes always woo us over. It's a fact. It's a fact. One hundred Men, take notes. You know, or ladies, I don't judge. But seriously, though, uh, ladies statistically like it when you sneeze on their titties. It's a fact. Like, do it. This song, I've heard it somewhere before. It's... Oh, God. Petchel Bell's Cannon. It's Pachabelle's cannon. Oh damn, she looks pretty cute here. She looks way better in red. You guys ever heard of the red dress effect? You guys ever heard of the red dress effect? The red dress effect is essentially the theory that if someone is wearing red, they are more attractive to you. Which I'm pretty sure is true. I don't know why it is. I don't know the exact science behind it or the theories, but I, I just know that the red dress effect is if you're wearing red, you appear more attractive to other people. Uh, especially if it's someone who's, you know, someone who, like, already likes you. Also, another fun fact, uh, if your friend, like, basically, your... Your susceptibleness to yawning is directly related to how much you care about a person. So let's say your boyfriend or girlfriend is yawning and you really love them, you'll basically, you'll yawn every time. But if you just see a stranger yawning across the street, it's not gonna make you yawn because you don't have any sort of connection to them. That's essentially what it is. It's really weird, like you're trying to, I think it's something with your brain is trying to uh, like, make them not feel weird because they're yawning, so you yawn too to make them feel like, you know, it's it's a thing you have in common. I don't know. I don't remember the exact science. It's, it's cool, though, you know? Just wear red and sneeze at people. That's basically all you gotta do, you know? And that means Tony is very attractive. Thanks, B-Roy. That's nice. Uh, opening the door. There is Yukari, elegantly playing her violin. It doesn't seem there are any other students in the music room. That dress is hiked up. She keeps playing, unaware of my arrival. It doesn't feel right interrupting, so I'll wait until she finishes. Yukari's been playing the violin since she was little. I remember being told at some point that Pachabelle's Cannon was the first piece she learned. She plays this piece so as to not forget her beginnings. I don't know much about the classical music, but I can tell the sound of her violin is crystal clear. It's a pure, honest sound. If I listen to it with my eyes closed, it's as if the sound is probing the depths of my heart and my feelings. What kind of person am I? In terms of hobbies, I just play some games from time to time. Even my part-time shifts at the cafe aren't as much of a job as they are a way for me to relax by helping out a bit. I never seriously put forth real effort into anything. Ikari's earnest expression and the movement of her delicate arms speaks volumes of the time she has poured into music. I feel a bit envious of her. As I'm thinking about that, the music stops. Yukari has turned to see me. <laughs> Kazuma! Were, were you listening? Yes. I am. You should have told me if you were coming! Nah, I thought I'd just peek in before leaving, but your music is just so beautiful, so... 
<laughs> Man, everybody's ears is gonna die if you have headphones. Yeah, flattery will get you nowhere. I feel like that's not true. Tony, do you play any instruments? I don't. I don't know how to play any instruments, actually. I'm not a very musical guy. A lot of people assume that I'm a very musical guy or can play instruments, and I, I really can't. <laughs> I used to play the recorder, and then I learned to play the guitar for one year of high school because learning to play the guitar is easy as shit, and most people can. Uh, it's a very easy, easy instrument to learn is what I'm getting at. Even someone musically inclined, such as myself. But, <laughs> nah, I, I don't know how to play instruments. I did learn to, I was trying to learn to do the ocarina, and I did pretty well doing that, but then I just sort of dropped it. I wasn't expecting anything by praising her, I just said what I felt. Was that Petrobel's canon? That's right. The song is sort of warming. Yeah, I love this piece. It's a song that gets deeper the more I play it, I, I think. I see. Well, I don't want to get in the way of your practicing, so I'll go. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'll leave the music room so as to not get in Yukari's way. Closing the door, I hear the sound of the violin start up again. The same song, Petro Bell's Canon. It really speaks to how much she loves playing the violin. I want to find something that I can pour my heart and soul into just as much as Yukari does so I can stand proud beside her. That's what goes through my mind. Alright. This is time. Oh, it's just skipping days. Alright, it's the 21st, Sunday. Oh, man. Fuck headphones, you probably just woke up my mom. Hey, if you're playing this through your speakers, that's your own damn fault. Tony, did you know that Undertale, Monster Masumi, Kimono Friends, and Bloodborne takes place in the same canon? You know, I totally believe that. I'd believe it. Does your ASMR count as a musical instrument because you play that very well? Flattery will get you nowhere. That's the game's lesson of the day. Except with me, flattery gets me gets you everywhere with me. Tony, I know it's been a while. It has been a while. Welcome back to the stream, zombie. It's nice to have you. That's what goes through my mind. It's almost the end of summer vacation. This is around when the things this is around when things start getting fired up in perspiration for the school eh, festival. I'm just distracted because this looks like the Coke text, like it's the Coke logo, and that looks like flan. Flan is good shit. Yukari and I are buying things at the shopping district near our school. I want to talk to Yukari about her birthday while we are out. It's her birthday after all, so I want to take her somewhere with a different feel than our usual dates. Um, plates, right. Cups, right. Also forks and knives. That's all the tableware we need, right? Should be. Also wet naps and stuff. Aprons will be prepared by the costume guys, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. What happened to the checklist we made earlier? Oh, I have it! She hands me a piece of neatly folded paper from her pocket. Um, also a sign and tablecloths, right? Tablecloths! I believe we'll find those in the craft store over there! Where to buy the sign? The blackboard thing, right? Maybe a general store. Let's look in the store. We head into the next general store we see. Nothing. Yeah, they didn't have any. A shame. Come to think of it, did, didn't you buy something a bit ago? What was it? Uh, yeah. Actually, just a while ago, I was able to find something that would be perfect for Yukari's birthday present inside the store. I thought I would be able to buy it without her noticing, but it looks like she has. Yeah? Just bought some slippers since... Oh, fuck, no, that was the wrong... <laughs> I, I'm being myself. No? <laughs> it's, it's the same, same nya. Nah is the same as nya. Just bought some slippers since mine have gotten old and I wanted new ones. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna be real with you, real talk right now. If you guys want some top quality slippers, you want some corduroy snoozies. I'm not kidding. Alright? If you want some top quality slippers for your feet to keep them toasty, this is the brand you want. You want corduroy snoozies. Snoozies are top fucking tier, alright? Fact. I blurt out a lie. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm certain she knows I'm probably lying. Yukari, however, doesn't seem to pay much mind. Maybe she's just being nice. So where can we buy one? One what? A signboard. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yukari remembers what we're searching for and thinks about where to get it with a ho-hum sound. Mm. Mm. Aha! Maybe they'll have something over at the new Tokyo 
To no, Tokyo Hoods! Hoods! Next, we're going to the hood? Alright. I remember that a miscellaneous and everything general stores, general goods store, had been built and opened up earlier this year. Well, let's go there on our last stop. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What's up, Kazuma? An arcade catches my eye, and I stop moving. No, actually, it's a prize in the UFO catcher that gets my attention. New release. New, new release? Hey, Yukari, mind if I stop in here for a second? Huh? Th that's fine, but... Hey, wait, wait a minute! Do you wear socks? Tony is a fountain of slipper knowledge. I am, though. Snoozies are good shit. The twist is that she's a Yakuza member. I'm waiting for the twist. Like, something wacky's gotta happen. But this sounds like Sonic, like, Sonic Heroes music playing right now. Like, I'm in the city, which are garbage levels in Sonic Hero, by the way. Before Yukari finishes answering, I rush to the arcade. Yukari races after me in a panic. This is... the new release? Goods. Crane. What even is that in there? It looks like vaguely penisy, but with hair. Right, an alpaca figure. When you say alpaca, you normally think of a plushie, but this one is a figure. The box is about 12 inches tall, so the figure inside is probably about 6 inches. I put some money in the machine as I think about it. I put in, of course, a 500 yen coin. Of course, obviously. Of course. By putting in 500 yen, I get three tries instead of the usual two. For larger boxes like this, it's obvious that the claw is far too weak to grab the middle of the box. My aim is the front. It will be pushed forward bit by bit by the recoil. I steadily nudge it forward with the first and second tries. Then, on my third try, I can't use the same technique. It won't move any farther when it's this far forward. That's why this time I only use one side of the claw to push against it. Woo! Got it! Sugoi! It was in an easy spot this time. Piece of cake! <laughs> you sure do know your alpacas! Yeah, I love them. Might love them only second to you. That's right. I really love alpacas. Yeah. This is getting weird now. My character likes alpacas, so something weird's gonna happen. If you were to ask me how much I love them, I'd say more than I love eating three times a day. No, that's just crazy. My love for alpacas began long before the recent alpaca boom. There's an alpaca boom? What the fuck is this fighting game? That's a straight up bear. And that's a dinosaur. That guy just punched a dinosaur in that background over there. Virtual bomber? There are no bombs happening. There's no bombs. What the fuck? I was given an alpaca plush for my birthday when I was three years old and really loved it. The rest is history. Hey, Kazuma, are you okay? Yukari calls out to me with a worried expression. Uh, no, it's nothing. Thoughts of alpacas are distracting me. Man, this guy's girlfriend is, like, shopping for a maid cafe with him. And he's just thinking about, like, fucking an alpaca right now. It's a little weird, you know? It's a little strange. I'm with Yukari right now, so I need to be thinking about her. Ugh. That's a little weird. By the way, Yukari. Hmm? What? Your birthday is at the end of the month, right? Anywhere special you'd like to go? You remembered my birthday? Of course! What do you mean? What could I- what- who- what man could forget his own girlfriend's birthday? <laughs> that makes me happy. So anywhere, you wanna go? Hmm... Let's see... Oh! Yukari points at the arcade while she speaks. The arcade? Not that! The kingdom! I wanna go to Alpaca Kingdom! Alpaca Kingdom? The place filled with alpacas down in Nasu? That's the one! Fine with me, but... This is for your birthday, you know. I love alpacas too, and I was thinking of a place both of us could enjoy would be nice. Okay, then let's do that. In front of the station, that there's a bus that goes directly there. Can we meet up at the usual spot around 8.30? Okay, sounds good. I also want to go to Alpaca Kingdom, so this trip is a pleasant surprise for me. Oh man. Tony, you're telling me you don't think of alpacas when you're with DJ Glitterbuns? Nah, dude. I think of... I think of llamas. You know, funny funny thing, when we were at Kineticon, I bought DJ Glitterbuns a rainbow llama. Uh, and she named it Sits. It's this big, fluffy, stuffed llama toy. Uh, about 
you know, the size of, like, someone's head. A little bigger, basically, like, from the neck to head. It's it's pretty big, and it's a big rainbow-colored llama. It's very cute. It's very adorable. We acquired the missions, the missing sign, and after we bring everything we purchased to the school, I take Ikari out on my bike. Not to the bus like usual, but down a dirt path near the river. My house is in the opposite direction, but of course, that doesn't matter. On our way back, neither of us speaks, but both of us are probably only thinking about our trip to Alpaca Kingdom on the weekend. My head is already filled with curiosity about things like if you can feed them or even ride them. <sighs> with both of us on one bike, we quietly ride home on a dirt path along the riverside. There isn't anything special about it, but just being with her makes me happy. Is it gonna skip like a whole week? Yeah. 24, 25, 26, skipping 27, 28, 29, 30. There we go. Today is the long awaited day for Alpaca Kingdom. Usually I bury myself in my pillow up until the last moment, but today I woke up pretty early. I even get out, I even get to our meeting place without being late. Yukari is already there, and she waves happily when she sees me. Damn, dude! Alright, guys. What do you think of my girlfriend now? She's in casual clothes now. You know? Instead of feed them, I thought it was gonna say fuck them. I mean, it might. <laughs> if we get to Alpaca Kingdom and I get to fucking Alpaca, this this visual novel is gonna take a weird turn. Kawaii Desu! Good morning, Kazuma! Good morning, Yukari! Such nice weather <laughs> Such nice weather today, isn't it? Yeah, ideal weather. Yeah, I can't say weather. I keep saying weather for an outing. I wonder what it's going to be like there. I can't wait! She's still a horrifying soul-stealing demon. I mean, she looks a little more human now, I guess. The eyes are still it's the nose. It's weird. I researched everything ahead of time, so I shall lead you to any corner of Alpaca Kingdom. Milady! Screenshot that milady! Mmm! Code black! We just got a goddamn milady, guys! That's it! That's it! That we got it! We got it, guys! We got a milady! We got a milady! I gotta do it! We got a milady! For all those haters out there, suck my ass, cause you're not <laughs> Suck my ass. We got it! We got a milady, it's time! Yeah, okay, I am in your hands. <laughs> Aha! The bus is here, so let's set out! From the early morning, we're in the high spirits. We travel by bus to the station, and from there we board the Naisu. Naisu Naisu Alpaca Kingdom direct bus. <laughs> the bus departs the terminal on schedule and smoothly merges onto the highway, heading straight for the kingdom. A few hours pass. The bus we're on arrives at a ranch in the highlands, which are still chilly from the morning air. Dude, look at that alpaca back there. Look at this smug motherfucker. Touchdown! Urgh! Fine weather! Why the fuck did he just yell touchdown? What kind of fucker says this? Oh my god. <laughs> the air... <laughs> the air is delicious here, too! Oh, I can see alpacas already. Oh, you're right! That is alpacas there. The moment we pass through the entry gate into their large ranch, many kinds of alpacas come into view. We got white, brown, light brown, dark brown, white, black, brown, gray, beige, mixed color ones too. Their faces and fur are all different, just like humans. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey! It looks like we can give feed to the ones over here! I believe there is a place we can buy feed nearby. Let's go look! Man, this guy... This fucking guy, he talks way too proper. It's kind of weird. Oi, she came, boys! Touchdown! <laughs> you make that alpaca happy. I'm trying, you know? I'm trying- I'm just trying to get with an alpaca. That's the whole reason I brought my girlfriend here. We searched around together. Alpaca food! Hey, isn't this it? If it says alpaca food, Yukari, then it's fucking alpaca food. What Yukari finds is a medical dispenser. There's a dinky little poster stuck on the top. Alpaca... <laughs> alpaca. Play red food. F. Alpaca food. Ultra. 
soft. Not for human consumption. Did someone eat this in the past? Looking over at Yukari, she is already buying the alpaca feed. I can't ever beating me to it. I brought all the money from my part-time job today, so it all fits in my budget. Yeah. Hey, hey, Kazuma, how much do you plan on buying? Well, after coming all this way, don't you want to feed all the alpacas? Sure, but look at all the kids lined up behind you. Let them have a chance, too. Oops. My bad. Maybe she's a bit slow. Oh. You know, she's, she's not that dumb, I guess. Looks like that bad habit of mine just reared its ugly head again. I get lost in the moment when it comes to alpacas. As I'm feeling remorseful, Yukari gently punches me in the shoulder. Oh fuck, yeah, you feed that motherfucker right now. Look at that. Ew, feeding that alpaca. Come on, you should feed them too, Kazuma. Ooh, good girl, eat a bunch. Looks like Yukari has already started feeding an alpaca while I've been feeling sorry for what I did. The alpacas are nice, of course, but it's somehow more pleasing to watch Yukari feed them. Is this motherfucker get- is he popping a bone air? Is he popping a bone air right now? I swear to god, this guy's like the Yoshikage Kira of visual novels. I bet he's gonna chop her hand off and then use it to feed that alpaca. I know what's coming. Listen, motherfucker, I know what's going on. You guys can't fool me. She laughs with such joy that it makes me feel happy as well. It was a good choice to come to Alpaca Kingdom. Hmm? no? Please. No, nothing. Alright, I'm gonna feed them too. Okay! I begin feeding them alongside Yukari. The alpacas come over to me too when I offer food in my hand. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. That's 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 Kazuma feeding the alpaca if you wonder. By the way, alpacas only have lower teeth. Oh, you're right. That's why it didn't hurt. They're completely herb herbivorous after all. Or er, were you bitten? <laughs> Actually, just a bit ago, it got its teeth on me. Sheesh, you need to be careful. It's fine if you're excited, but... Uh, when I look at the alpaca, it's chewing on my entire right hand, along with the feed. The alpaca is going through the motions of chewing with such a blissful expression on its face, almost as if it doesn't even notice anything wrong. Oh, when it happened to me, it spit mine out so quickly. Your hand must be tasty, Kazuma. No, no, my hand isn't food. Hey, let go! Tony, it's 9 a.m., please. Too hot for YouTube. I try pulling my hand out, but it doesn't budge. This guy doesn't intend on letting go. What to do? <laughs> uh, Yukari? Yukari doesn't seem to mind the predicament I'm in and is playing around with the alpaca. Whoops, uh, Bowman! Hey, Mr. Bad Alpaca, spit out Kazuma's hand! She finally throws me a lifesaver. The alpaca seems to finally give up at Yukari's insistence and releases my hand from its mouth. Ugh, covered in drool! Hey, I have wet naps! Thanks. I take the napkin and wipe my hand. It's just about time, should we have lunch? Sounds good, but there aren't many places to eat here in Alpaca Kingdom. Well, I thought of that already, so I brought a picnic lunch with me. Not bad, Yukari. So, where should we sit to eat, then? Glancing around, I search for a good spot to relax. How about there? It's in the shade, and it's probably cool there. Sounds good, let's do that. Oh, man. I'm really... I feel like I'm gonna burp while I'm doing Yukari's dialogue. I'm waiting for Lucari, like, for me to be doing Yukari, and then just, like, burp halfway through. I'm waiting. Wet. Nap. Wet. We move towards the shaded bush. Ta-da! I tried making a few sandwiches today. She opens up her large lunchbox, and she says that, as she says that. Oh, looks like they came out nicely. There are many types of sandwiches inside, like ham, eggs, tomato, and other. Are you telling me she just made a sandwich with just tomato in it? I'm not that good at cooking! But I did my best for today! Yukari, Yukari who normally never cooks, tried her best to make these sandwiches just for today. Oh man, what time did she wake up this morning, I wonder? Thinking that she made these for me makes me really happy. Okay then. Nom. Wait, hold on. I need to I need to play 
I need to play the... The nom sound effects. Where the fuck is it? There it is. That's my that's my ear sound effect. Nom. How, how is it? <laughs> oh my god. She wants her sandwich in her booty with your wiener. She brought sandwiches, but she didn't bring hot dogs, just the buns. Oh my goodness. Nom! K Kazuma? Yukari looks worried worriedly at me. Yeah, it's delicious! Thank goodness! So it was well worth practicing. Does this, this bitch have to practice making a fucking sandwich? Are you kidding me right now? Christ. You put some shit on bread, this is it. You don't have to practice a sandwich, Christ. She gives a deep sigh of relief. Cooking is probably not her forte. Yet, she's the kind of girl to always at least try. Yukari understands her limits and does her best to push them. That's Yukari. I never say it, but I think that's one of her adorable traits. Thanks. No problem, I'll eat too. Moshi Moshi, sandwich desu. Whew, I'm stuffed. I hope you enjoyed it. We gaze absent-mindedly at the alpacas after we finish eating. Time goes by slowly as we relax. You know how alpacas move their front and hind legs at the same time together when they walk? Oh, well, that was wrong. That was Kazuma. It's called pacing. All the animals in the cam Camelidae family move like that. Whoa, is that so? On that note, when an animal moves its front and hind legs on opposite sides to move forward, it's called trotting. Horses, for example. A little bit of trivia. That's cool, I guess. She's traumatized by dick. Man. Alpacas are domesticated for their high-quality fur in the plateaus of the Andes, where they are generally found... Man, if I... You know, if you went on a date with your boyfriend and you're going to Alpaca Kingdom, you know, I expect that he's gonna say something about alpacas, like, damn, alpacas are cute, or did you know this about alpacas? But if this motherfucker just starts quoting me alpaca facts, like... Come on. We got other shit to do. We got sandwiches to eat. Ah, I've heard that before. Alpaca for sells for quite a bit, doesn't it? Yep, yep. You sure do know a lot when it comes to alpacas, Kazuma. Yep. I don't call myself an alpaca lover for nothing. This motherfucker's trying to fuck an alpaca right now. I know what's going on. I say that, but I only learned these little details after we decided to come to Alpaca Kingdom. Could it be that you researched this all for today? Urk, not bad, Yukari. How could you tell? Wah, because Kazuma... You said this morning you made sure to research beforehand! I do recall now that I said something like that. Ikari does remember quite a lot of stuff I say. I always forget stuff so quickly. This character is literally just me. This character is literally just me right now. I forget like everything and I feel so bad about it. I can barely remember what I have for breakfast. So when someone asks me if I remember something and I say no, I just feel bad because I know they've probably told me something. But I just don't remember it. It's, it's awful. Actually, when comparing women to men in terms of memory, I feel like women are generally better at recalling things. I wonder how true that is. It might be true. Um, if men eat more red meat, then that's probably it. Reading, eating red meat actually does harm your memory, from what I remember. Whereas eating fish can uh, help it out, I guess. But eating red meat is bad for it. Also, taking diabetic type 2, di type 2 diabetic medications can fuck with your memory. So be careful if you are a type 2 out there. Since we were going to come here, I just wanted to expand my knowledge. Expand alpaca. Even if I just a bit more. Thank you! There's an awkward silence. Uh, um? Yukari speaks with a solemn expression. What? If... Just if... This is getting weird now. Alright. If I became an alpaca... Would you still love me, Kazuma? Of course. Why this all of a sudden, though? No, it, it, it's nothing. Thanks. Could it be you're feeling a bit jealous towards the alpacas? What? No. I know that you've been looking at me as well. So, she did notice me looking at the alpacas' buttholes, is what you're telling me. When she tells me that, I feel a bit flustered. Yukari expresses her emotions very frankly. Usually I would tease her a little, but not today. Make sure you look at me too, Yukari. Oh, yeah. 
Hikari blushes shyly. Shyly. All right, now then, let's go play with the alpacas. The baby alpacas was so cute. One a our afternoon in Alpaca Kingdom involves taking a stroll with the alpacas. If you reserve it ahead of time, then you can walk freely around Alpaca Kingdom with a baby alpaca. Damn, that's fucking cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. She has a fursuit. If she whips out her alpaca fursuit... Man, my, my character is gonna, like, get a boner that just never stops, you know? It's weird. If she... She's gonna wish that she was an alpaca and then turned into one, isn't she? It's pretty popular, by the way, so I suggest reserving in the morning when the crowds are still small. Alright, I'm gonna fucking Google this shit right now. Alpaca Kingdom. Is that a real place? Alpaca Kingdom is an alpaca farm located in Spring Hill, Kansas. Yeah? So it's like a real place. Okay, Alpaca Kingdom. Where the- Oh, that's cute! Their, like, picture on their website is two alpacas kissing. That's adorable. Alright, uh... Come experience the joy at Alpaca Kingdom. You can enjoy our wide variety of alpacas in almost every color in our herd of 33. Looking for pets, fiber artist friends, or breeding stock? Come look at our selection- Oh, so you can buy them. It's not like a... Oh yeah, it's not like a... Like a thing. It's like buying alpaca. They have alpaca sales. Here we go. Uh, Hukatan, Huka, Kaya, I don't know how to pronounce this, opening female. We can buy- guys, let's pool our money together, uh, and buy this girl alpaca for $800. Or we can buy a male, he's only- f he's only 500 but he has a $250 stud fee. Alright guys, let's buy the girl alpaca. Damn, this alpaca's picture, he's got a, a like a first place ribbon on. This, this motherfucker's purebred, and he won an award. Alright, alright guys. Let's... Let's buy the girl alpaca, and then use 250. Right? We'll use 250, and then we'll we'll breed the, the girl alpaca with the stud, because he's got fucking awards. Does the girl have an award too? Nah, her picture, she doesn't have an award, so she's not as cool, I guess, but she does have a sweet haircut. The boy didn't have a didn't have a haircut that good. Not breeding? Ask about our prices for Cassie as your farm pet. She is a sweetie, perfect for new herd package too. Her name is Cassie. She's pretty adorbs. Not gonna lie. Oh, uh, here's some more pic. I'm looking at more pictures of her. Oh, nice. She has such sweet hair. She's a cutie patootie. Oh, she won a ribbon too. It's in gold though. I don't know if that's better than the blue one. The blue ribbon that other boy had. The ribbons don't have like numbers on them to tell me which one is better, but. What would we name our alpaca, Tony? That's a good question. If we, if we could name an alpaca, guys, what, would you, what should we name our alpaca, you know? You know? Well, why are you keen on seeing some alpacas fuck, Tony? Because then we can have baby alpacas and charge people to walk around with them. Obviously. Also, baby alpacas are adorable. Christ. Oh, that's nice. The, the little sign in the background has an alpaca on it. Hmm. We'd name it Joseph. Oh, that's a good name. That's perfect. Joseph Joestar the Alpaca. That's adorable. That's good stuff. It's pretty probably- okay, yeah. We managed to finish a lap around the ranch. That was close to an hour's worth of time. Yeah, they had such tiny, innocent eyes. It's weird. Kazuma, did you try to secretly ride the alpaca back there? Ugh, you caught me. Of course I did! Jeez, that's so mean! Well, but aren't you interested? Like. It probably feels really nice. Just, uh, just a pro tip. Just, uh, just a pro tip from me. Don't tell your significant other that it probably would feel good to fuck a alpaca vagina. Just don't do it. No matter how good you think it'll feel, just don't say anything about it. Keep that to yourself. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's move on. Well, it sure does look like it would be nice, but that's not the problem. Yukari's voice is strangely gruff. The handler told you before the walk that you're not allowed to ride them at all, didn't he? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, I am interested, but we need to follow the rules. What if riding the alpaca caused an injury? That would be awful. 
Does she mean me or the alpaca? If the alpaca was hurt, then they'd stop offering this stroll. Ah, she meant the alpaca. And if you were to hurt, if you were hurt on my birthday, I'd probably be really sad. That's right. It's Yukari's birthday. Day. You fucking forgot halfway through the day. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? All right, Tony. I'm wearing headphones. Please. I'm sorry. I want Yukari to be smiling all day long. Breaking the rules and making Yukari sad is the one thing I mustn't ever do. Yeah, you're right. I apologize. No, it, it's okay. I apologize for yelling, too. She forgives me when I apologize. This is probably the perfect time to give Yukari her birthday present. Hey, Yukari. No, it's, it's fine. This isn't trying to make up for it. Here, your birthday present. Oh, music. Happy birthday, Yukari. Is this for me? I literally just told you it was. I bought this just for you, though I'm not sure if you'll like it. Thanks! C can I see what's inside? Go ahead. Hikari removes the wrapping neatly. Every moment she makes it lit by the evening sun. Every mo every movement she makes is lit by the evening sun. And she looks quite beautiful. Kawaii! The present is picked out for her. It, I have picked out for her is a tiny violin pendant. The gift isn't worth much, as I don't have a lot of money. But the choice comes from my feelings for Yukari. That's nice. I was so happy just to be in Alpaca Kingdom, and now I'm getting such a cute present. Thank you. I feel like such a lucky girl. It doesn't end there. I'm going to make you feel luckier and luckier. Oh. So stay with me from here on out. Okay. That brings down the curtain on our Alpaca Kingdom date. Now to just get on the bus and head back. That was so much fun, I wish I could spend my time there like this every day. If I'm with Yukari, then I'm sure it will be like that. I fall asleep on the bus when we get on, fatigued having built fatigue having built up over the day. Am I dreaming? A violin melody can be heard in the distance. It's a pleasing sound. Summer in the highlands is calm and clear, with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with the morning dew, I quietly close my eyes and lend my ear to that refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay here like this forever. Kazuma, Kazuma, I hear someone calling my name, that voice from the love of my life. We'll be at the bus station soon. That's that's how I interpreted that, that dialogue there. You slept like a baby. We woke up earlier this morning, so you were probably really tired. Yeah, looks like it. I slowly return to wakefulness. Oh yeah, this is the inside of the bus, on the way back from the kingdom. The voice ringing in my ears is the love of my life. Putting my chair back upright, I turn to the seat next to me. Beautiful, rich hair, long curly eyelashes, beady dark eyes. Her smiling like that, yes, it's as if she is an alpaca. <laughs> alpaca? Uh, sitting in a polite fashion on the narrow seat next to me with her legs folded smartly, there is, for some reason, an alpaca wearing Yukari's clothes. Turn that shit up! Woo! I'm waiting. Hit me, baby. <laughs> Surrounded by his friend one day, Cosma and his girlfriend Izumi went out on a date to Alpac Kingdom. I'm trying to sing along. Two were supposed to. Oh, fuck. Surrounded by the. Fuck. It's so fast. When Cosma woke up on the bus the way back, Yukari had to be sitting inside him and go wrong. Fuck. It's so fast, dude. I literally can't keep up. I literally can't keep up. Jesus fuck. What even? Oh my god, what is happening? Save me, please. What? She does the sports? She's in a cafe as a maid? Ooh. Give me a smooch, Yukari. This is my favorite anime. You guys like this? This is my favorite anime ever made. Move over, Jojo. Rocky's a fucking hack, dude. Alpaca Plus. Oh, uh, dude, that alpaca is adorable. Look at how 
cute that is! Fuck it! Oh, that other one got sheared, so it looks kind of ugly. But it's okay! The other one's cute! The other passengers look over at me, shocked that I raised my voice inside the bus. What's wrong, Kazuma, yelling like that? Oh, no, sorry. Did you have a bad dream? The alpaca wearing Yukari's clothes looked worriedly at me. Yeah, looks like it. It looks like you're sweating, too. You might want to go straight to bed when we get off at the station, baby. <coughs> I'll do just that. I do hope it's not sunstroke or the flu. I can't see Yukari anywhere. Thinking about that makes me want to scream again, but I'm inside the bus right now. We're close to the bus terminal, so I check over my things in an attempt to distract myself. I must be hallucinating, or maybe I'm still dreaming. I've heard before that if you woke up from a dream, then you just need to dream again. The alpaca wearing Yukari's clothing is frequently talks to me, but in the, my confused state I can barely understand half of what it's saying. I just follow along, giving court responses. Soon an announcement resounds through the bus, informing us that we will reach the station shortly. I shamble off the bus like a zombie. Oh, Kazuma. Wait. The alpaca beside me follows in a rush. What on earth is happening? I can't understand why there's an alpaca wearing Ikari's clothes calling out goodnight or something like that to me. I paired it back, but my mind is still blank. Where am I? Uh, that's right, my room. I'm in my room right now. However, I don't clearly recall how I got back to my room. Honestly, it's still in the state of confusion. And I'm quite flustered. It seems my homing instincts kicked in when I got off the bus and I brought myself home. That means the lady I saw on my way back was my own mother. Feels like that may have been it. But that lady, rather, my mom, had asked what I wanted for dinner, but I went back to my room without being able to give a straight answer. Putting myself down for bed, I pulled the sheets over my head and shut my eyes. I don't brush my teeth, nor eat dinner. I don't change my clothes. I don't take a shower. Come to think of it, I turned off the light in my room. Wait, was it even on to begin with? I can't grasp the situation. I can't put my feelings in order. I must still be dreaming. When I wake up, things will be like how they were. They must be. August 31st. Man, imagine the human alpaca hybrid babies she and Tony will have. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be weird. So, does no one else see her as an alpaca? I mean, I don't know, dude. We're still going through. I really don't know what's going on. I thought everything would go back to normal when I woke up. However, I was mistaken. There's no day exactly the same as the last, so of course today is different from yesterday. My peaceful, blissful life is like a candle in the wind. I arrive at school in the usual manner. I open up the classroom door and there, speaking with classmates about the fun summer vacation it had, is an alpaca. I act calmly, trying to get my to my seat as fast as I can, but my eyes are glued on the alpaca. What is that thing? Hey, what's with the gum glum face? School had just started. Hey, morning. My classmate is, is talking to me. Yeah, my classmate is talking to me, but my thoughts are only on that alpaca. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm saying alpaca, but to be precise, it is an alpaca wearing a school uniform. The alpaca blends in naturally to the classroom, wearing a girl's school uniform like that. What'd you do over the break, Yukari? No, oh, that's a girl. What'd you do over the break, Yukari? All I did was go to meets and prepare for the school festival, nya. Oh, come on, not that. I mean, your boyfriend. Didn't you go on any dates? Oh, yeah, yesterday we went to Alpaca Kingdom together and totally fucked. Oh, you two really are in it deep. He was in me. Deep. Baby. It's... it's not like that. Look, Kazuma's looking right at Yukari. What? The alpaca turns and our eyes meet. The alpaca, mixed in with the girl, smiles at me, but all I can do is awkwardly raise my hand in response. Okay, everyone, take your seats. When the homeroom teacher enters, everyone scatters to their seats. Okay, everyone here, tell me if there's anyone absent around you. I always think this. Wouldn't it be better if the you took role normally? You took role normally? <coughs> oh, Christ. I check for honesty's sake making sure there were no absences. And then I look back to our homeroom teacher. Looks like there aren't any absences. You guys didn't do anything dangerous during the break, did you? Our classroom teacher lays out the standard subjects pretty nonchalantly. As expected, he makes no mention of the alpaca. 
The fact that the alpaca is sitting in Yukari's seat signifies that this is indeed Yukari. That shit is getting heavy, dude. Or it could be that an alpaca has replaced her? Invading aliens came, abducted Yukari, and replaced her with an alpaca to divert situ suspicions. I'm her boyfriend, so I was able to notice the change because I'm always with her. The others are just incapable of perceiving it. The hypothesis is sound, but there's no way such a thing would happen in reality. Then what is this? How can this normal situation be explained? Abnormal situation. Man, what if the grill is actually two people in an alpaca uniform? Damn, what if it is? You know, I feel like... You know, Kazuma and Yukari seem like the kind of couple who would buy a a two-person alpaca suit and wear it around the house together and outfit it with, like, dildos and shit so it fucks them while they're wearing it. You know that there's a couple who probably does that somewhere, you know? They, they, this game was made for them. After a while, first period begins and everyone heads to the gymnasium. The opening ceremony begins. Oh, I feel there are quite a few of you that still feel like it's summer vacation, but remember the school festival is coming up soon. Be sure to resume your regular schedule from today onwards. After the school principal's long speech, the guidance counselor makes their speech, and the ceremony ends without a hitch. During the whole thing, the only thing I can think about is alpacas. We return to the classroom and are dismissed after homeroom. How do the others see this situation? Nobody appears uncomfortable around the alpaca. Is this a gag? Is there a camera hidden somewhere? I look around the classroom, but I can't see, see one. <clears throat> what are you groaning about? Someone abruptly calls out to me after I groan. Yeesh. Oh, it's Shinazawa. No reason for you to be surprised. Something bothering you? Bothering, yes. There definitely is. Really? Tell me about it. Should I tell Shinazawa the current situation? See, I do trust her to a certain degree, and it might be easier to solve the confiding in someone, but where should I begin? Oh, finally! I got to make a choice! Uh... Do you like alpaca? Let's save, I guess. All right. Okay. Hmm. Which one of these do we pick, guys? This girl's so boring, no one notices she's an alpaca. Corrupted alpaca show. All right. Which one of these do we pick? I'm leaning towards isn't Yukari strange today? Hmm. What about that? Oh, excuse me, do you think something's off about Yukari today? Hmm, Yukari. When I say that, Shinazawa looks over at the alpaca preparing to go home. So that really is Yukari. Hmm, well, she does seem to be a bit more tired than usual. Isn't that fatigue from going to Alpaca Kingdom yesterday? You win, didn't you? Both of you. Yeah, well, that's true, but that's not what I'm talking about. It's fine. She has a nice long rest today. She'll be back to normal tomorrow. Shinozawa was mistaken. Thinking that I'm worried about Yukari seems unwell. Seeming unwell, however. It feels like the conversation won't go forward even if I explain further. Yeah, you're right. Tomorrow, everything should be back to normal. I mean that in more ways than one. She just blinked. She just fucking instant transmissioned. Well, I'm going home. Saying that, Shinozawa heads home. Alright, now that I have some advice from a friend, I should reassess this. I appear to be the only one in this class who sees the alpaca. In fact, I feel like there's something I have to admit now. That alpaca... is... Kazuma. Kazuma, let's go home. Speak of the alpaca. And it arrives. Oh, uh, um... This feels so weird, I can't even look at her. My feelings that I should just accept it, damn it. And I can't accept that Yukari, Yukari is an alpaca now. Struggle against each other. I was thinking of taking the riverside path home instead of going to the bus stop. It'd be nice, sugar buns. Eh? I let out a hysterical yelp. But yeah, if this is Yukari, then she would be my girlfriend, and walking her home would be the norm. Except I can't accept this reality yet, so I tell a blatant lie instead. Oh, uh, that's right. Sorry, today I have something I need to do so I can't go home with you. Uh, really? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I need to get home. Really sorry, so I'll see you tomorrow. Not even waiting for Yukari's question mark response, I grab my bag and scurry off. Turns out people start speaking quickly when they lie. I have a weird sweat as well. Even if she's in, al al in an alpaca state, it still feels like I might have hurt Yukari's feelings. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm also at a loss. I haven't the slightest idea of what I'm supposed to do. 
man, this that neck. That that neck. The real twist is that Tony has been in Alpaca the whole time. What you guys don't understand is I've just been live streaming from my farm at Alpaca Kingdom. I'm actually John Alpaca Kingdom himself. I own this game and all alpacas. We're all out, you know guys, at the end of the day, we're all just alpacas in the grand scheme of life, you know? We're all just alpacas. Are you gonna fuck the alpaca? I mean, if it's an option, I won't not fuck the alpaca. Oh well, might as well head home for now. I sigh deeply and take the path back home. Now then, what to do? Of course I have plenty of time since I have nothing planned. Oh, Christ. Might as well just take a walk. I take walks from time to time when I start. Okay, no, if you tell your girlfriend you gotta go home right away, don't take a walk when you get home because she might see you somehow. You should stay in your room and not leave. You know? You don't want to do that. While I'm scuffling around, I go over everything that's happened up to this point. Earlier when I said... Earlier when it said, let's go home, I instantly wondered how I'd get an alpaca to fit on the rear bike rack. Neither lengthwise nor widthwise seemed possible. I might just have to tie it to the rack with some rope. No wait, that would just be awful for the alpaca. More importantly, no matter how I think about it, it's not about what's possible or not, r or not right now. The circumstantial evidence points to only one answer. That's right, this alpaca could only be... My girlfriend Yukari. Damn, this is getting weird as fuck. It seems like that alpaca really is Yukari. I have to accept it. It pained me to do it, but I sent her a message this morning saying I couldn't go to school with her. It's not just a simple matter of getting used to this situation, though. Is something wrong with my eyes or my head? Or has Yukari always been an alpaca? Like, has everyone else been fine with it and I'm the only one who's perplexed because I thought she was human until now? No, no, no. It would just be too strange for an alpaca to be this immersed in society. I need to calm down. First, take a deep breath. <sighs> then analyze the situation. Alpaca. Artidoctyla mammal of the Camadillae, Cam Camelidae family. Its scientific name is... Oh my god. Vicugna pacos. And its Japanese name is... Jesus Christ. Hisuji, Raku Hisuji Rakuda, okay. They originate from the Andes in South America, and they were domesticated 4,000 years ago for the luxurious fur. By Akatosh, you're right. By the Nine Divines, you're the champion! Oh my god, Yukari's long, luxurious hair is indeed beautiful. No, there's still no reason to compare that to alpaca fur. Yet... What is right in front of me is unquestionably an alpaca, so... Uh, right in front of me. Good morning, Kazuma baby. Good morning, Yukari. I'm unable to hide my shock when spoken to so abruptly. You're early today, too. Did something happen with that boner of yours? Need me to... Give it a slurp? It's nothing. I was just told I needed to come to the staff room this morning. Kazuma. What'd you do this time? Did you fuck somebody in the room? This time? I'm not that bad of a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Come on. The bell's going to ring. Back to your seat. Back to your seat. Okay. I'll see you later then. Same old conversation. Same manner of speaking. Ikari. Same as usual. But she looks like an alpaca. What is going on? Where did I mess up? Calm down, Kazuma. In case, in cases like this, you need to gather information first. First, observing Yukari as an alpaca. Observation case log 01, math class. Jesus Christ. So who can do this one? Let's start from the right side seats. Izumi, try solving it. Yeah. She's told to solve the aquatic inequality. X. Carrot sign. Two. Greater than or equal nine. Yukari stands before the blackboard. I watch for how the quad quadrupedal alpaca might answer this. As it turns out, she holds the chalk with one front hoof and stands on her hind two. She looks like that one red panda. Fuda! The one that walks around Who is Fuda? Jesus Christ. 
I don't even know. This is weird. This is weird, dude. It looks quite adorable. I find myself soothed looking at her. Meanwhile, she quickly works through the problem. She factors the equation, draws the graph, and then finishes by writing out the intervals and putting down the chalk. The alpaca solves the difficult question easily. What a clever alpaca. Well, this is Yukari after all, so that's a given. The graph shows the answer is minus 3 is greater than x, greater than 3. Bitch. Yes, correct, alright! Next question. Behind you. Hold up, hold up. This isn't the time to be impressed by that, I need to take notes too! Observation case log 02. Gym. Hmm, so girls are doing the high jump today. It's pretty easy. I wonder why they're making the boys drudge through a long distance run in the meantime. But well, it does make observing Albaca Yukari much easier. Where's the Alp- I mean, I mean Yukari. Oh, there she is. I slow down my pace, but not so much that people around me would notice, and manage to pick out Yukari among the girls lined up at the track. After all, she stands out, so it's easy to find her. The alpaca is wearing bloomers and a PA uniform, like the rest of the girls. Hmm, this is... Oh no. Oh, now isn't this cute? Or, no, no. That's not it. The girls finish their warm-up and line up one after the other, waiting for the teacher's whistle to take off the high jumping. Jesus Christ. That alpaca is thick. Are, are you Cafe Daddy? What is Cafe Daddy? Is that a thing I don't know? I am definitely not Cafe Daddy, though I wish I was. What is Cafe Daddy? Is that a thing I should know about? That alpaca is thick. Thick. I don't even I don't even know what's going on, guys. Like the deeper we get in this, it's weird. Oh, Yukari's about to do the high jump. Yukari takes off in an intense run. I see. When she runs, she's on all fours. If I remember correctly, alpacas can run at about 25 miles per hour? So if Yukari went all out, does that mean she'd be able to go that fast? She approaches, then jumps. Oh! Her body bends! Screenshot! Normally, you'd never see an alpaca doing the Fosbury flop. So I feel like I just got lucky. Again, the dialogue, too good. Right as she is about to hurdle it. Her leg hits the bar. Yukari falls down into the cushion along with the bar. I can tell from her expression that she's frustrated. It seems that she has three chances, and the two tries after that are both complete failures. I also feel regret, cheering her on in my heart, saying next time for sure. Yukari is probably the most frustrated, though. The girls who have finished are taking <laughs> talking with their friends, but Yukari is still hopping by herself next to the high jump bar. Oh boy. This is... this is weird. Tony, what are you that you do not know your own story? I don't know my own life. Oh, is Cafe Daddy what you're, what you're referring to, Kazuma? I get it. Am I Kazuma? This is actually based on my life. I'm the alpaca, by the way. Tag yourself. I'm the alpaca. Majestic. The girls who have finished are talking about themselves. So, okay. It's adorable seeing an alpaca jumping like that, but she's probably practicing on her own. I hope it'll go better for her next time. Psyche! If you keep slacking, I'm going to make you run an extra lap by yourself! I hear the teacher vo teacher's voice in the distance. Oh damn, I'm too focused on Yukari. I need to run properly. Okay, sorry! Observation case log 3. Extracurriculars. We have to stay after school to help with the festival preparations. Starting today, we're prepping this for the school festival, so anyone who stays after the school... After school has a lot of work to do. Yukari's gone to the music room for her club activities. Psyche, is it okay for you, for me to go to Black Cat after this to introduce myself? Oh, about supplying the cakes when it comes time, right? Sure. Go get Yukari then. Club should be over right about now. What, me? What, you don't want to? No, that's not it. Okay, then I'll see you. Shinozawa waves her hand and forces me out. It's not that I don't want to go, but I'm still a bit afraid. I'm the bar. <laughs> Tell yourself I'm the bar. I accept that the alpaca is Yukari. However, I still don't understand why she is an alpaca. I don't have a clue. Yeah, I love alpacas, so in a certain sense you could say it's a wonderful predicament. Oh. Except that Yukari is my girlfriend. I have no idea how to date an alpaca, and there's no way things are going to work out that the way they are. Cosma. Oh, no, that was Kazuma going, hmm. I can hear a violin playing as I approach the music room. Come to think of it, how would an alpaca play the violin? 
Does it use its chin to hold the violin? And its front hoof to hold the bow? Yeah, I'm curious. When I go to the music room, I feel the overwhelming urge to throw the door open and see for myself. But it's also a bit scary to imagine what I'll see. No, I can't turn back now. I brace myself and open the music room door. There she is. Yukari looks just as she always does when she plays the violin. She's performing the same song as that day during the vacation. That sense of sweetness I felt in the summer, however, is not there. Instead, when I see her form, I have to make an effort not to burst out laughing. Oh, Kazuma. Yukari notices me. I came to relay a message from Sinazawa. You're alone today? I remember her being alone the last time I looked in on her, too. Oh, no. We only had a meeting today, so everyone already left. But I'm just saying, yeah, and I wanted to practice a little. I see. The message from Ayaka. Yeah, she was wondering if you'd come to the Black Cat Cafe to talk about the school festival cake delivery. Roger, I'm get there ready. Give me just a second. She quickly puts the instrument away. I wonder if her fur ever gets stuck in the case. Judging by the amount of fur she has, she probably wouldn't get away with just a little sting if that happens. Finished. Sorry for the wait, baby. Her fur is also unscathed. Look at that fluff. Would you guys touch that fluff? She's thick as fuck, though. We've created a chat lore of shorts, sorts alongside this VN, Tony, to clear up some confusion. Oh, I get it. You guys are naming me the Cafe Daddy. I was just referring to him as his actual in-game name, Kazuma, so I got confused with you guys there. This is weird as fuck, though. We leave the music room and meet up with Shinozawa at the ca at the classroom. After that, we head off to the Black Cat. We leave the music room and meet up with- yeah, we, we already read that. Hey, boss. Good evening. Oh, if it isn't Kazuma and Yukari! Good evening. Hmm, who would this be? I'm Sakai's classmate, Ayaka Shinazawa. She's in charge of the maid cafe. Oh, no, uh, wrong guy. It's nice to meet your acquaintance. I've come to discuss a few things with you, Mr. Mitaka. Kazuma has told me quite a lot! Let's have some drinks while we discuss things. Oh, I'll help out. Thank you very much. Oh, this cafe or latte is cute. Kazuma's pretty skilled at coffee, alright? He's pretty skilled with his dick, too. Yukari turns the conversation towards me. Who would you fuck out of these three? The alpaca, the dad, or glasses girl? They're all great options. Tony, would you let Joseph Joestar take you to Pound Town? Nah, dude. I wouldn't let my alpaca do that. That's rude. He just gets pets, because he's a beautiful boy. You know, when we eventually buy a, a stream alpaca. Kara turns the conversation towards me. Except, because she's sitting beside me, her fur is rubbing against my hand. Because of that, I can't focus on what they're saying. Kazuma? Yeah, I've always loved just adding a little touch here and there. Uh, oh. oh. So coffee art can be done anywhere. Well, it's all about how you pour the milk, so it's not impossible. Okay, then I'm adding it to the Maid Cafe menu. That's fine, but it takes some time. I can't recommend it if you want a lot of customers. Hmm. Let's add it as the Maid Cafe special and set it apart. I'm no maid. Not a problem. You make it in the back so they won't know if you're a boy or a girl. He's a trap! It'll be fine if we have a cute maid bringing it over, like you carry here. Hey, that's not right. You're just as cute, Ayaka. I'd fuck you. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the flattery. How's the meeting going? The owner comes over after finishing the dishes. Yes, quite well. Hmm, well I'd like to discuss the cakes first. The owner takes his seat, and our meeting promptly begins. Glasses. Oh, man. Good night, B-Roy, thanks for watching. I believe I've heard you'll be needing four whole shortcakes. Chiffon cakes and... Gateau au chocolat. Uh, I don't know if I can do the voices anymore because my throat hurts so bad. Yes, I think that will be enough. Doesn't your daughter usually make the cakes? Yeah, that's right. God, it's tough. Mr. Mitaka has a daughter named Ryu R Ryo, attending college. She helps out at the cafe on the side while going to school. I began my part-time job this year at Black Cat because she was busy job hunting. Will you be alright by yourself? If not, I could come and help. Oh man. This is something. It's fine, I'll be opening late and helping her. Okay, then I'll just leave it at that. I try imagining Yukari making a cake. 
I can only imagine her fur falling into the cake. The customers would probably get angry at that. Wait, when that happens... Ugh, my apologies. My fur got into it, I'm such a ditz. Tee Would they forgive her if she did that? No way. There's no way they would. Actually, you can't just do that in places you serve food. Alright, I'll bring the cakes today. Are you sure? Certainly. I have a car, and if I get a few kids to help me take them from the front gate, it should be fine. I'm sorry you have to do all this. No, no. Kazuma is putting a lot of effort into this. It would be a shame not to help. Thank you, boss. Also, I'd like to discuss the cafe interior. I'm sorry, I've never been to a maid cafe, so I'm not sure I would be much help there. Oh, we call it a maid cafe, but it's really just a cafe with cute designs. I'd be very grateful if you could hear what... If I could hear what you felt was important when you opened your cafe. I see. So things like the lighting, ornaments, and what music to play in the store. If you're trying to make it cute, then make the light a bit brighter so the room looks generally white. Also, it might be a good idea to put flower vases and bookshelves here and there. I see. That's quite useful. Oh my god. This is... This is intense. If Tony was dead, we'd all cry. Oh. That's a nice thing, but that ain't gonna happen for a while, don't you worry. But fuck. This is intense. This- I haven't got- you know, I just realized I haven't made a decision in, like, literal ages. This game isn't really about decisions, it's more a book, you know? Bases and bookshelves, not sure where to get those. Guess I'll have to consult the teacher next time. Oh, Yaka, I might have some at home. Maybe if you stop by my bedroom. What do you mean by that? My dad is a trader, so he has quite a few things in storage. Like extra strength condoms, baby. I'm not sure if they'll be good for the maid cafe, but it might be worth stopping by. You know. That would be very helpful. Do you need to get his permission? Sure. It's certainly too late today, so would you mind going her here going with her tomorrow to check them out? She suddenly throws the conversation at me. Huh? Just me? You won't come? It'll be fine. You should also get there to greet her parents. What? How could she say that? It's true that I've never gone to, got to meet Yukari's parents, but just wait a second. If this alpaca's parents are alpacas too, then wouldn't it mean I've been mistaken up until now? That would mean Yukari's always been an alpaca and my eyes have been lying to me this whole time. This might be a good chance to check, actually. It's fine. It's, it's fine, Cosmo. My parents won't be home until late because of their work. We'll have plenty of time to fuck. Meaning... Meaning, nobody's at the house. At my house, so it's just going to be the two of us got up. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I meant. It's totally what I meant, though. The alpaca moves about in confusion, its face flushed. Every time she moves against me, her fur rushes and tickles my skin. Anyway, I'll check with Daddy. Meeting's over today, okay? Daddy. Over two hours and just one decision. I've been playing this game for about two hours now. Yeah, it's about two hours. And I've literally made one decision the entire game. It's actually a little obnoxious. I would like more decision making in my visual novels. Well, I asked about everything I wanted to, so we can end for today. Come on, let's go home, baby. Y yeah. Hikari takes my hand and drags me to the door. Well then, thank you very much for everything. No problem, I'm looking forward to the school festival. Okay, if you have time, you should come see it, Mr. Mitaka. You're right, I'll try. And farewell. Shinazawa bows respectfully. We'll see you tomorrow, boss. I say my goodbye to the owner as I'm pulled away. Yes, be careful on your way back home! Man, that sh I thought she was on top of her in that shot. It was weird. This isn't hell. This is, this is heaven. This is how you reach heaven. Poochie was wrong. This is it. Ooh, it's gotten pretty late. So how long are you going to be holding hands, you two? Oh, sorry. Yukari lets go of my hand frantically. It seems almost stupid to say at this point, but only now do I realize that Yukari's hands are hooves. It feels much harder than a human's hand as well. I wonder why I didn't notice anything strange about it while it was happening, though. Whoops, need to make sure to write this down in my observation case logs. Observation case log 04. Hand holding. The hands of an alpaca ho are hooves, and are hard when you hold them. 
Okay, that should be all. I think there will there will be yeah. I th <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think there will end up being quite a few observation case studies of a Sakai Kazuma. So see ya. See you next week at school. Get the fuck out of here so I can fuck my boyfriend. Bitch. I walked Yukari and Shinazawa to the bus stop, then headed home. I wonder what awaits me later. Friday the 2nd. I think that'll be it, guys. We've, uh... We've kind of reached the point, you know, in Alpaca Plus, where I think this is a good stopping point. So, thank you guys. Thank you, people on the Patreon, for giving me patronage. It's how I pay for my food. Thank you guys. I am glad that this was the game that was chosen because it's fucking hilarious. I hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you on the next stream.